Hey you guys, welcome back to Born Wild, it's David Perez, and today we're talking about the ball python. Ball pythons, known as the Royal Python, and these guys are native to West and Central Africa. The ball python has a dark brown or black background with light brown blotches on the back and the sides, with a white or cream color belly scattered with black markings. These guys are gorgeous. They are stocky and with a smaller head, button-shaped eyes, lined with small pits around the lips. And speaking of those ball python pits around those lips, they will use these pits and their tongue to locate their prey. Now a fun fact about snakes is that all snakes are deaf, they have poor vision, and see infrared, kind of like in the movie The Predator. Ball pythons now come in a large variety of colors. You can pretty much have a, any type of color of this snake that you wish. It's amazing. These snakes are great for beginners <clears throat> or for people who love pythons but do not want that giant size. So males, they typically max out at 4 feet and females around 6 feet with a lifespan up to 30 years. Now, I have always been fascinated by snakes. They are the most feared animal on the planet. They have no legs, they have poor vision, and once again, they are deaf. Yet, these guys are lethal killers. Now, to be clear in the air, a ball python cannot kill you. They are simply too small, nor do they contain any venom. So, you're safe on that. These are great beginner snakes. I highly recommend them. As a matter of fact, rarely do you even hear of a person being killed even by a large python. And if you do, it's by sheer accident because these guys are so big and so powerful. Pure accident. Also, ball pythons are found living in the burrows, in grounds, and not in the trees. So a lot of people, they think that your python is going to be up in some tree and that's where they're going to find them. Not this species. They love to burrow into the ground. Feeding your ball python, this is pretty much easy, but please do not watch something from National Geographic of pythons in the wild, seeing them eat maybe once a month, and then saying you're going to do that to your snake. Please do not do that. So with your snake, you want to feed once or twice a week. I feed frozen, so what we do with frozen is we just thaw them out. I thaw them out in a, a nice warm water. Um, it's kind of gross, but the snakes, they, they love it. I don't feed anything live because I don't want any of my snakes getting injured due to biting um, and so forth from the rodent. Always wash your hands before and, of course, wash after. Now, if you wash your hands, make sure you're not handling mice or rats, and then you want to go, you forgot, you go pick up your snake. You will get bit by accident because the snake is only going to smell rodent on your hand so please make sure you wash your hand uh, another thing i do i feed outside of the tank i put them in a box and let them settle down about 10 minutes and then i uh, offer them food with tongs so and after they've eaten that uh, i will gently pick them up put a towel over them pick them up and lay them calmly back in their environment now feeding your ball python though um, you want to make sure that you're starting maybe uh, two mice. Now, if these are babies, they're going to eat something called pinkies. And then, of course, you know, as your snake grows, your food grows. Now, a adult ball python should be eating a large rat the size of a Coke can. Now, do not look at the head and say, oh, well, the head is too small. These guys are designed to eat large prey. They will unlock their jaws and they will slowly devour it. So please feed your python well. Now housing a ball python, I keep a UVB light on one side that has no heat. That's just the artificial supply of the sun, basically, and it will help your reptile grow. So all your reptiles, if you're keeping reptiles, you should have a UVB. And uh, on the other side, I keep a red heat bulb with a heat pad underneath the tank. 
So with this white lights, as I call it, whether if it's heat and UVB, and you choose to use a white light, only 10 to 12 hours uh, a day for that. The red lights, you can keep on 24 hours because it's not going to hurt your snake. As for bedding, I always use Eco Earth, and you can use Aspen as well. Please stay away from pine and cedar. So stay away from pine and cedar because those items are toxic, highly toxic. So you want to make sure you also have a large water dish because if they get a little too warm, they will have a cool side and a warm side. But they also sometimes do like to soak in water. Who doesn't? You know, it's basically a bath. And along with that hide, you want the snakes to be secure in their environment because they are extremely shy. So, why do they call these guys ball pythons? I'll tell you how they get the name. When they are threatened, they will curl up in a ball. Simple. And back to that hide. It's so important to have a hide in your cage. So these are really shy, so you wanna make sure you, your hides are all there, your lights are all in the right place, a cool side, warm side, proper lighting, 10 to 12 hours, and basically a 10 to 20 gallon tank for a baby. 30 to 40 gallons to house and an adult. Now do not put a newborn baby python in a 40 gallon tank because you're just going to stress it out. And give your baby a little week or maybe two weeks just to kind of acclimate and get used to its environment. One thing I've noticed about ball pythons, that they're so fickle, they will actually stop eating if you uh, change them into a different tank, or I've even seen them stop eating for months sometime when you just change the tank to a different room. It's pretty amazing. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. We do have some larger videos that we're working very hard on right now, So, but we're trying to put a little something out there for you. And any of you new beginners, deciding that you want a ball python you can ask anyone at your local pet store or there's many great breeders out there that will share all the info that you need with them or you can also email us at fourbornwild at gmail.com and that's the number four by the way so i hope you guys have a blessed day and remember to like subscribe and hit that notification bell it really helps us a lot and let us know how we're doing. Have a blessed day, you guys. Bye. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And do keep in mind, we are now on Wednesday time slot. So I will see you guys next Wednesday. And may you have a blessed day. It's 2 o'clock in the morning, and I am very tired. So uh, see ya. You guys are still there? Like, really? Do you not have a life? Like, uh, bye. Mm -hmm. Go. Go home.